What's up, KNR Squad? It's your boy, Black Marie. And your girl, Kristen. And today, as you can see, Woo! we ready to eat. And it looks <laughs> colorful on the table. Mm. And that makes sense because we are mm. trying Indian food. Cheers! Time. And I am so excited. It smells good. It looks it's good. good. And, and I bet I, it tastes good. I hope it tastes even better than it looks. Facts. So, we have never tried Indian food before, and today we are gonna put it to the test. Mm. What do you think it's gonna taste like? From the looks of it, mm. it looks like it's gonna be mouth-watering delicioso. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it is. So y'all, stay tuned, hit that like button, subscribe like to the button. channel if you have not already, and let's dive in. Let's dive right in. We have butter chicken. Butter chicken. It looks really good. <laughs> Yo, I heard this is like a staple, you feel me? Yeah. Like you can't have Indian food without the butter chicken. Okay. So, you know. We've got chicken tikka masala. And now this is a dish of chunks of roasted marinated chicken and peppers in a spiced curry sauce. Damn, that sounds good. Roasted chicken. <laughs> All right, y'all, we have some traditional plain naan. And to just, you know, tell you what that is, it's a lavend flatbread originating from northern India, which is traditionally baked in a tandoor. We have garlic naan. <laughs> Bro, that's not ready! We have cheese-filled naan. I have never heard of that before. Never. <laughs> that's a first. We have samosas. Now, samosas, I've heard of them before, but what's inside? It's a fried or baked pastry with a savory filling such as spiced tomatoes, onions, peas, served with dipping sauces on the sides. Now, for the dipping sauces, we have tamarind sauce and we've got mint sauce, which is actually interesting. I wonder what that's gonna taste like. Right? That means it's gonna taste so minty. So this is the fish Ajwaini Tikka. I probably butchered that name, but it smells and looks so good. It's a marinated fish with karam seeds, AKA Ajwain, gram flour, and Indian spices. Cheese! This is jira rice. It's also just looking like plain rice, but it is basmati rice flavored with cumin seed. Okay, I see the seeds in there. The gobi manchurian which is a crispy cauliflower, florets tossed in a spicy, sweet, and tangy manchurian sauce. Bro, we're getting them <laughs> both the best world, sweet and spicy. Yes. We've got vegetable pakora, which is a traditional chickpea flour batter and Indian spices served with dipping sauces. So I guess the dipping sauce we're gonna use is the mint and the tamarind. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. fine. That, but they didn't give us any other one, so that's what we gonna use. That's what we gonna have to use. For dessert, we have the carrot halwa, which is a pudding made by cooking carrots with ghee, milk, sugar, and spices. And then for the drinks, we've got the mango lassi, which is a popular Indian drink, a delicious blend of mangoes and yogurt with a touch of cardamom. I don't know what that is. I don't know what it is. Chai, which us Westerners call it chai tea, but chai really just means tea, so I've heard. And so it smells good, and I can't wait to drink it. I'm ready to dive in. All right, we're gonna start with appetizers because it's only right. Because we're trying to have like a five course <laughs> a meal. A five course meal? Oh. This is more like a 10 course? Right. But hey, it's let's okay. do it. So we're gonna start with the vegetable pakora. And I'm excited because I really like chickpeas. All right, let's go. So, let's go. Cheers. Mm. I taste the onions. For sure. I taste a lot of flavor in this. What's that flavor I'm, I'm tasting? Are we supposed to dip it? Traditional chickpea flour batter and oh. Indian spices served with dipping sauce. Wow, this tastes good. Served with dipping sauce, is this the sauce? This is tamarind, so let's try that. We're gonna that. try it with the tamarind sauce. Try that. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> that sauce is sweet. I'm I try loving it. how this is fried, you know? I try with the with the mint sauce. I'm gonna mix it around to get the real the real flavor. But Oh my gosh. Uh. Let me try the mint. Nah. I'm sorry. The mint was the mint. The mint mm -hmm. with this is a miss. Yeah, I need the tamarind sauce. But I'm gonna go back to the tamarind sauce. <laughs> Guys, this is so good. Like, mm. the inside of it is just way too flavorful. It has to be the Indian spices kicking in because the outside has a nice batter. Mm -hmm. It's like crispy, and, and then the, the inside, inside is nice and soft. Yes, soft. Um, Bro, we have more stuff to eat, and I'm trying to. I know, I know. And I want more. <laughs> 
Okay, what do you rate this? Out of 10? Because I want room, I want to leave room for improvement. Oh, okay. I'm going to give it an 8. Suit yourself, I'm giving this a 10. You know what's crazy about this? What? You don't like onions, but you're, the onions are in there. You know what? Like, you actually hate onions. I feel like the onions are disguised, though. Because there's so much happening that I don't really see the onions. So, I'm good. 10. 10. Mucho gusto. I ain't gonna cap. Mm, that's not Indian. <laughs> I don't know how to say very good in Indian. I always say very good. What accent was that? <laughs> Digging into the samosas, Samosa. baby. Can you pass me a plate, please? Thank you. There you go, my princess. Thank you. As Dig you in. Carry it away. Oh. Samosa. Cheers. Let's try it. Hey, 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 hey. Wanna try oh, it dry try, first? We're gonna try it dry first. Okay. And then we're gonna dip it in the sauce. We're gonna have to do both sauce. Okay. You feel me? Let's All go. Right, dry. The potatoes makes the dish, I swear. Okay, it took a long time for me to get to the actual middle mm -hmm. because of the um, that this mm -hmm. on the outside. But now that I get to the middle, I'm really tasting mm -hmm. the spices. I hope you guys can see that. Mm. I'm really tasting the spice and this this is it. This is a hit. I taste the spice too. I'm gonna try it with the sauce. I need to dip it in the sauce. We dip it in the sauce. Oh my gosh. With the tamarind sauce, it kicks it up a notch. No! No! I know! No! I know! With the sauce! With the sauce! See, I love spices. And the fact that this is spicy. This is well spiced. Oh, now it's really hitting. Yeah. Like us Jamaicans, we love flavorful food. And this right here, the two dishes so far, have been top tier. Yo, this is spicy. He's a little Jamaican because his spice meter is kind of off. <laughs> Tastes so good, make you want to snap your girlfriend. Beyonce. Oh shoot. Get it right. <laughs> Ten. Ten. Oh my gosh. This might be hotter than some Jamaican food out there. The mango lassi. Delicious blend of mangoes and yogurt with a touch of cardamom. Could this be the part that goes to the pot? Babe, I don't know, but just shove that in there. Oh, this was perfect because it's thick. Yeah, you really taste the mango and you can really taste that yogurt too. It's mm. good. Yeah. This is fire. I know. Don't drink it all though. Super sweet. <laughs> Yo, all of this needs is some ice. I'm going to give this a nine. The fish, Ajwani Tikka. I'm going to try with naan. Maybe okay. the garlic naan. Here's a slice of naan. Piece of fish. So what do we do? Bite at the end. Bite. bite I think one, I'm going to cut a piece of fish, put it on the naan. Yeah, listen, y'all gotta let us know how you're supposed to eat this stuff. So I'm gonna take the fish. I'm gonna take a bite of the fish and the garlic bread. Wait, cheers! Same time. Mm. That's good. Hold on. Is that hit? Mm. Okay, the mix of garlic with the fish is really good. And this it's reminds fish me is of soft. my garlic bread. Mm. This is very flavorful. The fish inside is very tender. Yes, and the herbs it reminds on the me of, garlic bread is just fire. It reminds me of tilapia. Yes. But with a batter on it, like this is f good. I don't mean to swear. <laughs> I'm impressed! Yeah. I'm not even, yo! I think we need to eat Indian food more often. Like this is actually insane. Mm. What's that Indian dance move, babe? Yeah. Yeah! I feel like it has to go in the buttered chicken. We haven't got there yet, baby! I'm trying to get there! We have the appetizers, baby! But I'm trying to get there! Get there yet, baby. I'm hungry! Oh, it tastes so good! I'm trying to get there! Mm. Moving on. Cheese stuff naan. Cheers! Cheers! Alright, let's try this. Okay. Okay, you know what? It's kind of giving, what is that thing called? With the cheese in it? Pizza. No! <laughs> it's getting cheese pizza! No, babe, what's the other thing? And it looks just like this. Quesadilla. Yes. Cheese quesadilla. Without the chicken, kind of. Very good. Mm-hmm. That's good. So, we forgot to rate garlic naan. Oh, with the fish. We give the garlic naan a seven. Oh, me. give the garlic naan an eight. An eight. And I give the fish a ten because it's fire. Oh, the fish was a hundred percent ten. Yeah, like even eleven. No questions asked. This to me is like a cheese pizza. Right. But you know what? The way that they cooked it is just but, perfect. But like, I don't like cheese pizza because it's like dryish. I love cheese pizza. This is like 
nice. And you know what? It's moist. Like, yeah, and it's the orange cheese, as you can see. It's perfect. It's so moist, actually. Mm. Oh my god. Damn. Bro, I'm gonna eat all of it. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Bro, we gotta say because I feel like we gotta dip the naan into something. Huh? Mm -hmm. Ten. Ten. You don't even need nothing. It's just cheese on a thing and it has so much flavor. It's like, That's what do you mean? Thing. Cheese doesn't even normally have flavor like that. Exactly. So what did you do? What did you do to this? <laughs> we are about to go into the main course. We're gonna have some jira rice with what a chicken! Mm -hmm. What a chicken. <laughs> what a chicken. Hit me with a little bit of butter chicken. Oh my gosh, it's coming out like soup. Oh, he loaded me up with the sauce. Look, man, I heard really good things mm. about butter chicken. Same. The only thing that I'm not happy about right now is there's only one, two, three, four. Oh, yeah. Five, only six pieces of chicken. Disguised by a whole bunch of sauce. Sauce. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? Like, it feels hard. I mean, the rice with the sauce. Okay. Mm. How does that taste? Did you just burp? Mm hmm. <laughs> a bit of a spice to it. Let me try it with the chicken. Mm. Oh my gosh. I don't know if this is going to make sense, but it tastes like the fall season. It tastes like fall time. <laughs> is that crazy to say? I can see why you're saying that because it has like a little... What is it? That's a little spice. It's like a little spice. Is it reminding you of like pumpkin, but it's not pumpkin. Yes! So it's pumpkin! I don't know what it is, but the chicken is very flavorful. I never tried the chicken yet. You're ahead of me. You didn't try chicken. Hold up, yo. Gone. Chicken is very flavorful. Oh my god. So, my only issue with this is like, I'm not really like a rice with, not that I'm not a rice and gravy person, but this is a different kind of texture. I'm very big on texture, and it's kind of a little bit- I don't know what you talking about, a little bit but too boy, watery. this slaps. I don't even care. The chicken is very good. Oh my gosh, it's it's actually spicy. That's what I'm saying. I'm getting the spice now, spice it wasn't good. before. The chicken, mm -hmm. 10. But the rice and the sauce, I'm gonna have to give that a five. It is what it is. The whole thing is a 15. Really? Oh my God, this is good this is really freaking good okay yo i've been sleeping on indian food i don't know what's wrong with me <laughs> well guess what you woke up <laughs> all right y'all we about to dive into the chicken tikka masala oh. i'm gonna make sure i get some of the peppers okay make sure i get everything we're getting into getting the, the peppers Getting some of this, we got some curry. Okay, should we have this with rice? Peppers, ooh, we should have it with rice, but we should also probably dip the naan in there. The naan? The plain naan? Dip the, dip the naan? I got you! We gotta dip the naan? Dip it! Oh, we, we're supposed to dip the naan in the butter chicken. Okay, okay, we'll do what that What are we too. doing, bro? Okay, it's okay, it's okay. All right, butter chicken. Oh, shit. Oh. I rather the butter chicken sauce on the naan than on the rice for some reason. Okay, me too. No, I lied. I like it better on the rice. Okay. Cheers. Wow. Damn, which one do I like better? This I is hundred percent like the. I hundred percent like the chicken tikka mechala with the naan bread better than the butter chicken. You know what it is? Oh my it's god, it's spicy as. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. That's spicy. Yes! Uh -huh. Yo! Oh my god. Oh my god. Mm. Alright, so look. Just found out these chickens are the same chickens. But just coated different. But coated differently. But I would say that the butter chicken is a little bit harder and crispier than the chicken tikka. Woo! Yeah, it's real spicy. That's okay, hot. okay, ratings. Chicken tikka versus butter chicken. They're both in their own boat. This is a 10 for me. That's also a 10. But I prefer this sauce on the rice than the butter chicken. What the? Yo! Holy! <laughs> okay, because of the spice level, <laughs> I'm gonna have to rate the, the the butter chicken a little bit higher. I'll give it like a 10.5 and I'll give the chicken, chicken tikka a 10. Oh my God, the spice is kicking in. Bet, move! If you're Indian, big up yourself. Okay. Going in with the Gobi Manchurian. Not sure if I said that right, but it's a crispy cauliflower tossed in a spicy, sweet, and tangy Manchurian sauce. Okay. So, okay. Kristen yep. does Say not it. like. Say it. She does not like cauliflower. So we're gonna see how she feels about that. Okay. Yeah, my nose is running. <laughs> you're such a my face nose is running, bro. Cheers. Go. It's not for me. I taste the cauliflower. I like it. Damn! I wanted to love it. It's not bad. It's too soft. It's too soft. I was just about to say. 
Yeah. I've never been a big vegetable girl. But the vegetable pakora slaps. I don't, that, I don't know what's in that, but that shit got cracking in. Yeah. It tastes good. I'm gonna have to give it like a three. A three? Yeah. Yeah, a little. Yeah. Only I'm gonna because, give it a five. Only because I'm not the a vegetable girl. Last but not least, moving into the dessert of the night. A rich carrot pudding made by cooking carrots with ghee, milk, sugar, and spices called the carrot halwa. Picture it tastes this. like a lot of sugar. Picture this. Picture Carrots, round up with sugar. I mean, that's what it is. And and pudding. That's what this is. But that's what it is. I know, babe, I'm just painting a picture. <laughs> that is the picture. You gotta paint a different picture for the, you gotta paint a picture of what it is. Okay, I'm also getting like a carrot cupcake. That's what, you gotta but paint just the picture. But just softer. Paint the picture. Yes. Carrot cupcake, but it's not carrot cupcake though. It's carrot on the bottom. <laughs> But vanilla icing on top. Oh. I'm giving this a six. I'm gonna give it a seven. <laughs> seven? I'm gonna give it a seven. Yeah, good dessert, but definitely not a go to. Like, it's yeah, very, because very I know that it's, sweet. Yeah, because I know that it's carrots, and it's like, mm. I'm not really like a carrot person like okay. that. Okay. So actually, we're gonna go in with the chai right now, and I'm excited because, if you know me, I love warm hot drinks. She loves Come on, let me just open it up. I love this little cup it came in. It says coffee, happy coffee espresso cafe. So that's coffee in every other every way to say coffee, right? Yeah, including happy. <laughs> chai tea. It, it, does it taste different? Okay, so you know the chai tea I get from Tim Hortons? Yeah. This is exactly the same, but with a little bit more flavor and almost like a kick to it, like a spice, like a cinnamon. Oh shit. Yeah, like this is richer than the one at Tim Hortons, obviously, because it's coming from the Indian restaurant. Yeah, what is that? I don't like the aftertaste. Really? Maybe it's too rich for you. <coughs> it tastes like... <clears throat> It's giving black licorice. The aftertaste for me is giving oh, a little black licorice. A little bit, you know. A little bit. But I'm not trying to think about that. Don't ruin my experience. I mean, I don't like tea, so it is what it is. That's a zero for me. I'm gonna have to give this an eight. An eight? Yeah. It is but what it is. Listen, if there's any other fire Indian food that we should try, make sure you comment below. And listen, if you want us to pull up to India, just buy me a plane ticket <laughs> and I'll be there. <laughs> Put a rush on you. Hope I ain't putting too much on you. Way more than a crush on you. And you love it when I touch on you. Yeah, I feel why you take time, but 